right, welcome back to the Roll Steady. Uh, today I'm super excited. Uh, got David Lindsay at the table. David actually approached me on this, and I've had a lot of guys that have come and said, hey, you know, we love what you're doing with Roll Steady. How can I get involved? Um, this was one of those times, not that any of those other ones are bad ideas, but this is one of the, <laughs> that might have sound bad to those guys. It, I promise it's not that way. But when David came to me, it was like, well, crap, why didn't I think of that? Um, you know, we did the interview with, uh, the rookie interview with John Murray, absolutely killed that one. Um, today we're talking about the senior man, you know, um, David Lindsay retired out of 37 C how many months ago? Uh, March, March, um, 38 and a, 38 and a half years of service. Yep. Um, so hopefully you guys will get something out of this. This is really intended for both the rookie and the senior guy within the Dallas fire department and the fire service in general. So before we jump in, let's level the playing ground. Um, when we use the phrase senior guy, who are we talking about? Well, you know, most people hear that in the fire service and they think the guy that's got the most time on. Um, I, I don't, I don't think that really, uh, applies wholly in the fire service because I think attitude should come before age. I think that should be the I think that should be the determining factor because I mean you know if you go back and look at the the, the history of it and, and you know in theory uh, like back when I came on you know the the senior guy was the guy that had 25 plus years on but you know back then we didn't have a drop plan um, and we had we had uh, different guys doing different jobs and you you always had uh, the same crew on most companies we didn't swing around as much as we did so it was a little bit different. Hmm. But fast forward, the drop plan, uh, you know, came into effect. And then all of a sudden we had a lot of those guys staying around longer. So that senior guy became like a 30 plus year guy. Yeah. Now fast forward 2016 and be, you know, going where we're at now. Yeah. That senior guy could be a guy that's got 12 or 15 years on, maybe 10. Uh, you know, it just depends. But I think, I think the thing you have to really look at is, is you've got to find the senior guy is the guy that has, has got the experience. I mean, we all know there's guys that gravitate to the slow stations. I never did. Um, not that I felt that put a feather in my cap. I just enjoyed the activity. I enjoyed uh, being busy. So, uh, But that guy that will get out there and, and he'll spend the time with the rookies. That In, in practice, that's who the senior guy is. Um, the guys that came into my station, I had a second driver and a driver when I came out of rookie school back in 1982. Um, man, they took me under their wing showed me what to do and everything. So um, the senior guy is that guy that wi is willing to invest in, in those young guys and, and even invest in his officers because there's a lot of times uh, we've got a young department officer-wise. So investing time in not just the rookies, but also in, into the officer. I think that's who the senior guy is now. The senior guy is like, well, okay, like who's the most senior guy here? Because, you know, maybe we need someone to jump up and ride the seat. And mm -hmm. so you'll hear that get flow. Well, okay, who's the senior guy? Okay, and it's just based on time. And I honestly, I never thought about it from the perspective of, okay, like, Willingness to teach. Um, I never thought about it from a willingness like, or, or attitude. Right. Um, you know, obviously you got to have the experience. Um, even maybe, I know that phrase gets thrown around. Are you a, you know, do you have 30 years? What is it? How does that go? You know, you got, you have 30 years on or do you have one year, 30 times? 30 times. Yeah. Yeah. You however go. you yeah. say that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's definitely those guys, right? Oh, sure. Well, you know what? It, it boils down to action speak louder than words. I mean, just like you talking about guys stepping up and, and riding the seat and stuff. Uh, you know, there's been some times in my career I had guys that were older than me, but they were in that uh, kind of in that mode where they didn't they didn't want to ride the seat. They were happy driving an engine or driving a truck and everything. So I may ride the seat, but had less time on uh, than those guys did. So it, it wasn't necessarily that they were bad and I was better at it. But you know, I don't want to go uh, look for the senior guy that you're having to pull him out of the bedroom, uh, you know, you. and and drag him out to try to get you know teach teach somebody how to work the hearse tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, you just dated yourself with that's the first right, tool. first tool. Oh man, <laughs> there's those thirty-eight and a half coming out. Yeah. Um.